Hey guys, and welcome to a new What I Eat in a Week. A full week of vegan food. This must be part 6, uh, so I have a whole playlist of those on my channel somewhere. I try to keep my diet balanced and healthy. I definitely do not succeed all the time, but yeah, it's still one that works for me. I eat intuitively, so I eat when I'm hungry and until I'm full. I never restrict and just eat what I want, basically. But still vegan though, of course. But yeah, uh, without making this intro any longer than it needs to be, let's jump right into it. Monday's breakfast was a basic muesli mix. So it starts off with some oats, a bit of hemp seed powder, some chocolate granola, a handful or two of blueberries, one banana, and some oat milk. Also, tea. I had an apple as a snack. Very interesting, I know. And this was my lunch. It might seem familiar to you guys because I showed it to you in a different video already. It is a pesto spinach chickpea bagel. The recipe will be linked down below in the description and on the screen. It is really good. I highly recommend you guys to try it out. Then in the afternoon, I did some baking. These are some apple and peanut butter muffins. I had one of these muffins and this recipe is one that is gonna be part of my ebook. I've been really busy creating all the recipes for that and just super excited for you guys to finally see it. I'm definitely gonna keep you posted. Okay, and then for dinner, we went out because it was my brother's birthday and I wasn't super hungry for dinner. So I first just ordered a salad, but then my mom had this amazing vegan pizza. So I got two slices of her pizza as well. Her pizza topping combo was so good. We have a green smoothie bowl for breakfast. Into the blender went two semi-frozen bananas, one apple, two dates, and a handful of fresh spinach. A half a teaspoon of green tea powder. Also some non-dairy milk for the liquid. And then I finished that off with a bunch of oats sprinkled on top. Tuesday's lunch was super quick and simple. I had some rice and red lentils left over in the fridge from two days before. So I just heated that up and had some of that rice lentil mix, plus a bit of avocado, lime juice, and greens. Snacking wise, I had one or two apples and a piece of spelt toast with some leftover uh, chickpea pesto. And then for dinner, I had one lazy bowl of oatmeal topped with frozen, no, fresh raspberries, almond butter, and some chocolate granola. Wednesday morning, we're continuing with the porridge theme. This one is a millet porridge. It has this purple color because it is also blueberry and uh, fig flavored. I mixed in some vegan berry yogurt and topped everything off with some frozen blueberries and some walnuts. And then for lunch, I had more breakfast. These are some pretty looking chocolate and hemp pancakes. 
This is another recipe that is going in the ebook. I'm sorry that I'm teasing you guys with all these sneak peeks, but yeah, it's just something to look forward to. And then uh, Wednesday's dinner wasn't pretty, just rice with chickpeas, tomato sauce, fresh greens, and a bunch of nutritional yeast. Super simple, but one of my favorites, definitely. Moving on to Thursday. Breakfast was some chocolate granola. No, breakfast was some chocolate ice cream. So to my blender, I added about three frozen bananas, plus a splash of almond milk, and two tablespoons of unsweetened cacao powder. That was already it. I blended it all up until it turns into this soft ice cream consistency and then topped it off with the chocolate granola. Yeah. <laughs> Also, some walnuts. Next up, the lunch was pretty similar to uh, Wednesday's dinner. So we've got leftover rice, tomato sauce, chickpeas, and frozen spinach, which is not frozen anymore, but yeah. And then for dinner, I just had a super lazy potato salad. It was cooked potatoes with chickpeas, fresh greens, celery, and some falafel flavored hummus. You can get that from Aldi. It is so good. Friday's breakfast starts off with a stale bagel. It was still fine though, I toasted it up. I spread some cashew butter on that. If you want to know how to make cashew butter, link up here or down below. I also had one banana with that. Sprinkled some poppy seeds on top and then finished it off with a bit of agave syrup. The second part of the breakfast would be some soy yogurt, plain and unsweetened, with frozen blueberries, some oats, and a teaspoon of raspberry jam. Lunch was a quick couscous bowl. I cooked up the couscous according to the packaging and then also threw in some frozen spinach pieces to defrost and to wilt down. I added some kidney beans and then I made a super quick tomato sauce slash dressing. All I did for that was mixing together some lemon juice with tomato paste and agave syrup. So I added that in there to give the couscous some more flavor. Also, nutritional yeast. And then lastly, sprinkled over some spring onion. For dinner, my mom made this super yummy veggie and potato stew. I have no idea how she made it, because I didn't watch her cook, but it was pretty good and I definitely went in for seconds. Now moving on to Saturday. Saturday morning was yet another oatmeal. This time I topped it off with some chopped dates and applesauce. Super simple. Then I was snacking on some grapes. And then for lunch, I made one of my favorite things lately. Quick and simple chickpea coconut curry. Probably not authentic at all, but super easy and really, really good. 
and here's how to make it. For convenience reasons, grab a food processor. Add to it one red bell pepper or an orange one, one small piece of ginger, one onion, and about a teaspoon of garlic. Blend for just a few seconds before adding a tablespoon of tomato puree, a half a teaspoon of chili flakes, a teaspoon of curry powder, a teaspoon of agave syrup, and the juice of half a lemon. Next up, bring a small to medium sized frying pan to medium high heat. Add in some coconut oil. And then once that's hot, pour in the sauce. Let it cook for about eight to 12 minutes. Stirring every once in a while and also maybe adding in a few splashes of water. Then throw in the chickpeas. Also add in the coconut milk, of course. And then I season it to taste with some salt, pepper, and some more lemon juice. You can also add in some cornstarch if you want the consistency to be, to be a bit thicker. And oh, we also get some fresh herbs. Fresh parsley, that is. And that's it, I had a big bowl with rice, spinach, and it was so good and so easy. And then for dinner, I had two small to medium sized sweet potatoes. They were filled with cherry tomatoes, and this was the result of getting too close to my food processor. But it wasn't such a huge cut, we just didn't have any band-aids at home, so this is what I had to work with. And also a bit of cress. My Sunday started off with some fruit and cucumber and a purple smoothie. To my blender, I added a, about a half a cup of frozen cherries and a half a cup of frozen blueberries, two bananas, some oats, and vanilla soy milk. As for my midday snack slash treat, I had some chocolate chip cookie dough with blueberries. This is not any chocolate chip cookie dough. It is made out of beans, which means it is slightly healthy. You can find the recipe in one of my recent videos. I will link it up here and down below for you to check out. And then lunch was again super quick and I wasn't in the mood for cooking. We just had bread with hummus cucumber, and parsley. This almost happens every time I film what I eat in a week. I just miss something. This time it was Sunday's dinner, which you didn't miss much, but just imagine a wholesome bowl of oatmeal with berries. Uh, I'm sorry. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, let me know in the comments if you're still watching because I'm pretty sure this one is probably like my longest video I ever put out. So if you're still watching, you're awesome. Thank you so much for being here. And yeah, I'll see you guys soon. Bye.